it's amazing uh, to recognize the voices of other women in our life. Yes. That have la left a lasting impact. Yes. That's... And that, for you, that was your mom. And I love yes. that. She's it's beautiful. You know, and I still think, you know, I still think about her wisdom. I mm -hmm. think about her insights. And um, but most of all, she had such wisdom about the Lord. Mm -hmm. And even when we weren't believers, she would plant little seeds. I love that. In our lives that, that would come back and, you know, the Lord would bring it back and remind us even when she wasn't there mm -hmm. or even, you know, when we were doing things we shouldn't be doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, she planted those seeds and then God watered them and caused them to grow. I love that. I dream of the day when I get to the end of this mothering road, this, right. this life of mine, and I hope that they say, wow, my mom, she was, she was a godly yeah. woman. You know, it reminds me of that scripture. It's Proverbs 31, 28. It says, her children rise up and call her blessed. And I just hope I can leave that kind of a legacy, but I'm gonna be honest, some days I know I don't do such a good job, right? It's hard. It's it is really good. hard. And, yes. and, I, and I think going back to my mother, I think you know, she was, you know, there were times when her prayer would be, oh God, help me. <laughs> I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> well, I had one of those days this morning, Lisa, no kidding. I had all three of my kids. We were trying to get out the door. It was just, it was a mess. One child mm -hmm. couldn't find his shoes. I still have a baby in diapers. Of course, right before we walked out the door, we had a situation with the diaper. Mm -hmm. So I finally got them all off to their places, right? And I got back into the car and I remember sitting in the car this morning and I just went, <sighs> you know, like, whoa, we did it again. We got them all there. And I thought to myself, like, I didn't spend one stitch of time with the Lord this morning. And so before I went any further, I sat there in my car and opened up my first five app. And today happened to be a teaching in Exodus about discouragement and doubt. Mm. And I, it was just what my heart needed yeah. to refocus me back to being the, the godly woman that yeah. I want to be for my children and for my friends. And I'm just so grateful because mm -hmm. that's to have Proverbs 31 step in in those moments right. for me. Tell me about a time maybe where Proverbs 31 really helped you. I feel like I've been a part of the ministry for a long time. But when, it, when I started with it and what I loved in the very beginning, I was getting the Proverbs 31 magazines. Yes. And I just really, felt I didn't have any magazines like that at all. And mm -hmm. I felt, you know, again, the, the information, the teaching, the stories were so good and they just really ministered to me. I was mm -hmm. at that time, probably mother raising five busy, <laughs> wild children. Yes. And, and it was like, I just remember feeling like it was a place that refreshed me mm -hmm. and nourished me. Mm -hmm. um, and so I really looked forward to, you know, to starting with that and then yes. moving forward to, and then as, you know, Proverbs 31 involved sort of my relationship, you know, with the app and the online Bible studies. I just continued with so many of the other things that they offered. You know, I really prayed about where to, where to, you know, where to give money. And mm. the Lord has made it really clear to me mm. that, that you, this is a ministry and this is a place that I am not to give generously, but I am to invest. Wow. And, and I just feel like you're investing in so many things and it's, it's a good investment, it's a great investment. But I think, you know, the whole thing about investing is you invest in, in places that matter in places that have a good return. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's one of the things I really respect and appreciate uh, in our partnership. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, really and truly, because it is an honor to be trusted yeah. uh, with people's investment and it is an honor to watch the Lord take these investments and multiply them. Because we get story after story. And I think that's what's exciting to me too, is, mm -hmm. is the, you know, the multiplication mm -hmm. is, you know, I mean, the Bible says given it will be given to you, pressed out, shaken together, and poured into your lap. Yes. And I think that's what you do. Oh. You know, that's I think that's what the ministry does in, in the giving is that, is, you know, is that expansion, mm -hmm. you know, where you're doing so much more than I could ever do by myself. Oh, and so it's well, we love partnering with you absolutely. and we want to invite our friends, partner with us. We want you to become the godly woman that we know that you are. And we want to keep giving you the resources to do just that. And we want to stand shoulder to shoulder with our sisters to um, be able to provide them 
with the resources they need to become the godly women that we know that they are so we can transform families, communities, and the world. Yeah.